Hello everyone, today's class let's talk about the evaluation of the crude drugs. What do you mean by a crude drug? Crude drugs are the natural substances that have undergone only the processes like collection, size reduction and drying. And they can be from different sources like plant source, animal source, mineral source, marine source. And again we can categorize into organized drugs and unorganized drug. Organized drugs, they are the organs of the plants or they are the anatomical part of the plant which have cellular structure. They have definite cellular structure. Example, the senna leaves, cinnamon, cinchona. Whereas the unorganized drugs, they derive from the different part plant parts by extraction methods like uh, some of them are natural secretions, uh, some of them are get by incision. Examples are acacia, aloe, uh, castor oil, asafoetida, etc. Evaluation uh, may be defined as the determination of the identity, purity and the quality of the drugs. Identity means the identification of biological source of the drugs. Quality, the quality of the active ingredient. Purity means the extent of foreign material present in the drug. And what are all the reasons for the evaluation of the crude drugs? First one, biochemical variation in the drug, effect of treatment and storage of the drugs, adulterations and substitutions. Methods of evaluation. There are six methods of evaluation. Organoleptic methods or morphological evaluation, microscopical evaluation, physical evaluation, chemical evaluation, analytical evaluation and biological evaluation. First one, organoleptic or morphological evaluation. It refers to study of the drugs using the sense organs. The methods of analysis include the color, order, taste, size, shape and special features like touch and texture. Say for example, the cinnamon, it's brown in color, ambiliferous fruits has aromatic odor, licorice has sweet taste, cinchona has a fractured surface, revolfia have a wavy shape, then senna leaf have a specific structure, naxomica is disc shaped. So these are examples. So study of the drugs based on their uh, characters like color, order, taste, size, shape. Okay. So organoleptic parameters involve the color, order, taste, size and shape. The color get fade if it get exposed to sunlight for very long period of time. So uh, drying under shade is preferable in case of uh, crude drugs containing thermolable substances. And uh, leaves of different species of mende can be distinguished by the smell. Aloe, uh, cardamom, cinnamon and the ambiliferous fruits can be distinguished by the smell. And taste. Uh, in case of ginger and capsicum, it has the pungent taste whereas the gentian and shiratha have bitter taste. Uh, licorice, we already discussed, it has a sweet taste. Then other parameters involve the shape. Naxomica, it is disc shaped. Aconite, it's conical shape. And cinnamon, uh, and cinchona it's available in the form of quills then another parameter is consistency the texture and nature of the fracture give the important information if the leaves are over dried they become brittle and the barks like arjuna cinnamon and roots of revolfia the fracture is short leafy drugs can be easily identified by the leaf shape and leaf arrangement the leaf shape can vary considerably. The most common shapes include the oval, lanceolate, ellipticate, linear. The leaf tips and bases may also be unique with names based on their shapes. And the leaf arrangements like uh, compound leaves, pinnate leaf, palmate leaf or uh, double uh, compound leaves etc. Second one, microscopical evaluation. What do you mean by microscopical evaluation? It is a method used to, to identify the organized drugs based on their histological characters. That means the study of the cellular structure. How? By the application of various reagents and stain to small quantities of the drug either in powdered form or histological section of the drug. We have to do the procedure in TS. Transpose section is the stain. That is So it means the microscopical evaluation. Let's see some of the examples for staining reagent in microscopical evaluation. See for example, fluoroglucinol and concentrated hydrochloric acid, lignin stains red or pink color. And with ruthenium red, the mucilage stained pink color. And with iodine, the starch and hemicellulose occur blue color. Senna can be identified by the unicellular thick 
covering trichomes and parasitic stomata. Digitalis has both covering and glandular trichomes with anomocytic stomata. Nexomica seed has lignified bended and twisted trichome. It's a peculiar character. Then stone cells are absent in synchona whereas they are present in cinnamon. Presence of pith in rhizomes and absent in roots. Hello everyone, today's class let's talk about the evaluation of the crude drugs. What do you mean by a crude drug? Crude drugs are the natural substances that have undergone only the processes like collection, size reduction and drying. And they can be from different sources like plant source, animal source, mineral. Stomatal number is defined as the average number of stomata per square millimeter of epidermis of the leaf. The actual number of stomata per square millimeter may vary for the leaves of the same plant grown in different environment or under different climatic condition and it also vary with species. Stomatal index is the percentage which the number of stomata forms to the total number of epidermal cells, each stomata being counted as one cell. Stomatal index can be calculated by the following equation S into 100 divided by E plus S. S is equal to number of stomata per unit area, E is equal to number of epidermal cells in the same unit area. Say for example, the stomatal index of digitalis purpurea, upper surface 1.624, lower surface 17.9 to 19.5. Next, vein islet number. It is defined as the number of vein islets per square millimeter of the leaf surface midway between the midrib and the margin. And it is constant for a given species of the plant and it is used as a characteristic for the identification of the allied species. Example, Cassia senna or Cassia angustifolia, the vein islet number is 21. Average number is 21. Digitalis purpurea, it is 3.5. Next, Vein termination number. It is defined as a number of veinlet termination per square millimeter of the leaf surface midway between midrib and margin. A vein termination is the ultimate free termination of the veinlet. By this character, we can distinguish between the Alexandrine senna and the Thinnaveli senna. Cassie Angustifolia has the vein termination number 25.9 to 32.8. Datura stramonium, it's 12.6 to 20.1. Palisade ratio. It is defined as the average number of palisade cells beneath each epidermal cells. Oro epidermal cells lam thare etra matram palisade cells and the average number and a palisade ratio no And here unbroken portion of the leaf is required. And palisade ratio can be determined with the powdered drug. So these are lycopodium spores. Another important technique is quantitative microscopy by lycopodium spore method. Lycopodium spores are very characteristic in shape and appearance and exceptionally uniform in size. Around 25 mm on an average 94,000 spores per milligram of the powdered lycopodium. And using this lycopodium spores one can uh, identify the substances uh, present in a crude drug by means of a microscope. And this technique uh, we can also use for the identification of the Ayurvedic formulations like Churna, example Shadavari Churna, Trifala Churna. So this is the equation for Lycopodis Pore method N into W into 94,000 into 100 divided by S into M into P where N is the number of characteristic structures, example the star screens in 25 field, W it's a weight in milligram of lycopodium taken is the number of lycopodium spores in the same 25 field where m represent the weight in milligram of the sample calculated on the basis of sample dried at 105 degrees celsius and p it's a constant value in case of uh, 2 lakh 86 thousand in case of ginger uh, starch creams powder then other parameters involve the shape naxomica it is disc shaped Aconite, it's conical shape and cinnamon uh, and next chemical evaluation which involves the qualitative chemical test, quantitative chemical test and chemical assays. Qualitative chemical tests include the identification tests for various phytoconstituents like alkaloids, glycosides, tannins, flavonoids, etc. 
Example, bone tragus tests for anthracinone glycosides, Keller Killiani tests for digitalis glycosides, Vanox reagent for ergot, Vitaly Morin reaction for tropane alkaloid, iodine test for starch, Murexide test for purine bases are examples of this evaluation. Next, quantitative chemical tests, which involves the following acid value, saponification value, ester value, acetyl value and the chemical assays uh, for alkaloid resin, volatile oil, glycoside, vitamins and other constituents. Another important technique is quantitative microscopy by lycopodium spore method. Lycopodium spores are very characteristic in shape and appearance and exceptionally uniform in size around 25 mm on an average 94,000 spores per milligram of the powdered lycopodium and using this lycopodium spores one can uh, identify the substances uh, present in a crude drug by means of a microscope. And this technique uh, we can also use for the identification of the Ayurvedic and spectroscopic methods which involves ultraviolet and visible spectroscopy, infrared spectroscopy, mass spectroscopy, nuclear magnetic spectroscopy. Next, physical evaluation which involves solubility, specific gravity, optical rotation, viscosity, refractive index, melting point, ash values and extractive values. Next, solubility. The presence of adulterants can be detected by the solubility studies. Castor oil is soluble in half its volume of light petroleum ether and the turbidity produced with the two volumes of the solvent. And the alkaloidal bases are soluble in organic solvents and alkaloidal salts are soluble in polar solvents. Next, specific gravity. It is also known as the relative density. It is the ratio of the mass of a solid or liquid to the mass of an equal volume of distilled water at 4 degree Celsius. And the pycnometer is used for the determination of the specific gravity. Cotton seed oil has 0 0.80 to 0 0.93. Coconut oil has 0 0.925. Castor oil has 0 0.95. Next, moisture content. The moisture content of a drug will be responsible for the decomposition of the crude drugs either producing chemical change or microbial growth. So the moisture content of a drug should be determined and controlled. The moisture content can be determined by loss on drying method which involves heating the drug at 105 degrees Celsius in an oven to a constant weight. Another method by using the moisture balance. Uh, example, digitalis and ergot should not, uh, the moisture content not more than 5 percentage weight by weight. Uh, and 8 percentage weight by weight respectively. Next, vein termination number. It is defined as a number of veinlet termination per square millimeter of the leaf surface midway between midrib and margin. A vein termination is the ultimate free termination of the veinlet. By this character, we can distinguish between the Alexandrian senna and the Thinnaveli senna. Next, optical rotation. Certain substances are found to have the property of rotating the plane of polarized light in pure state or in the solution. Thus, they are described to be optically active and this property is known as the optical rotation. It may be dextrorotatory or levorotatory. Normally, the optical rotation is determined at 25 degrees Celsius using sodium lamp as the source. Example, the castor oil not less than uh, plus 3.5, honey plus 3 to uh, minus 1 5 Next one, melting point. It is one of the parameters to determine the purity of the drug. The melting point of a solid is the temperature at which it changes state from solid to liquid. The plant constituents have a very sharp and constant melting point. Example, the beeswax 60, 62 to 65 degrees Celsius, wool fat 34 to 44 degrees Celsius, agar melts at 85 degrees Celsius. Next, specific gravity. It is also known as the relative density. It is the ratio of the mass of a solid or liquid to the mass of an equal volume of distilled water at 4 degrees Celsius. And the pycnometer is used for the determination of the specific gravity. Cotton seed oil has 0 0.80 to 0 0.93. Coconut oil has 0 0.925. Castor oil has 0 0.95. And another parameter 
is ash value. The residue remaining after incineration is the ash content of the drug. The determination of the ash is useful for detecting the low-grade products, exhausted drugs and excess of sandy or earthy matter. And the types of ash value includes total ash, acid insoluble ash, water soluble ash and sulfated ash. So total ash is the residue remaining after incineration and acid insoluble ash uh, is the part of the total ash which is insoluble in dilute hydrochloric acid and the total ash value for aloe it 5 percentage weight by weight ginger it 6 percentage weight by weight and the acid insoluble ash agar 1 percentage weight by weight cardamom 3.5 percentage weight by weight that means not more than 1 percentage and cardamom 3.5 percentage weight by weight and water soluble ash is used to detect the presence of material exhausted by water and sulfated ash is done by adding sulfuric acid in order to get sulfated salt and the percentage of ash is calculated with a reference to the air dry drug. The temperature used for this above 600 degrees Celsius. Next extractive value another important criteria the extracts obtained by exhausting the crude drugs with different solvents and are appropriate measures of their chemical constants. So various solvents are used according to the type of the constants that means based on the polarity and the extractive values are water soluble extractive value, alcohol soluble extractive value. Example uh, water soluble extractive value of aloe not less than 25 de percentage weight by weight and alcohol soluble extractive value of aloe not less than 10 percentage weight by weight. First one organoleptic or morphological evaluation. It refers to study of the drugs using the sense organs. The methods of analysis include the color, order, taste, size, shape and special features like touch and texture. Say for example, the cinnamon is brown in color, ambiliferous fruits has aromatic odor, licorice has sweet taste. So Next, biological evaluation. The plant or extract can be evaluated by various biological methods to determine the pharmacological activity, potency and toxicity. And the bioassay involves the estimation of the potency of the crude drug by means of living organisms like bacteria, fungal growth or animal tissue or entire animal. It is known as the bioassay. The bioassay methods are of three types, toxic, symptomatic and tissue or organ methods. The different animals are used in toxic and symptomatic method. Isolated organ or tissue is used in the third method. Mice are used to test the effects of various vaccines. Pigeons are used to assay digitalis glycosides. And the drugs have an effect in eyes are assayed by rabbit's eye. So these are uh, the experimental animals uh, which are used in the pharmacological screening. Albino mouse, albino rat, hamster, guinea pig, rabbit. And the effects of ergot are carried out on cox, comb or rabbit's intestine or its uterus. Anthelmintic drugs are evaluated in worms and the microbiological assays are carried out to determine the effects of drug in various microorganisms. So next to the animals the studies are carried out in human beings also. It is known as a clinical trials. Next one melting point. It is one of the parameters to determine the purity of